AccuStrike Impact Golf Training Mat. Are you struggling to hit ball first, turf second impact with your irons and just lacking a lot of that consistency? Can't seem to hit any irons solid that keep coming off the toe or the heel? Well, I've got great news for you today. Hi, this is Troy from HittingItSolid.com here. I'm gonna show you this fantastic golf training aid you can practice at home to really improve the impact you make on your irons. You'll be able to compress them, hit them a lot more solid, and you can prove all of this right from your very own home. Let's get started. Okay, the AccuStrike impact golf training mat now this is a fantastic training aid that you can practice at home which is perfect for what's going on in the world today but what i like about this is you can hit as many shots as you want at home without actually even hitting any balls you can hit all different types of iron shots and this gives you instant feedback on how you're hitting the golf ball and in particular the critical part of hitting ball first turf second this is how it works so it's just, um, I think it's a, a velvet material. And what it does is, it has a line here that would mimic where your ball would be. And the idea is when you hit ball first, turf second, it makes a mark. You can see there, makes a mark post where the ball is, post impact, which would create a divot in your normal swing. So this gives you instant feedback how you're hitting the golf ball. Now conversely, if you were hitting the, the golf ball fat, it would leave a mark well before where the ball is there. Same with thin shots. And all you need to do is wipe back the other way and that mark disappears. Thin shots would look something like that. Also will pick up an over the top swing or coming too far inside, it will show it will show patterns on the mat exactly how you're hitting it so this gives you great visual feedback and you can practice this for as long as you need to so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to be showing a little bit of a close-up but i'm going to first of all show you some keys on how you can hit ball first turf second so you can play better golf and get the most out of this training aid Okay, let's look at some ways he can get into this position so you can hit ball first, turf second contact, so you're going to get the most out of the AccuStrike Impact Golf Training Mat. So I've spoken about these before. I'm going to put some links above this video here that go into a bit more detail, but here's some keys to help you get that ball first impact, ball then turf. So the first thing I want to think about is for you to focus on that rear shoulder in your downswing. Now, what I like to... This is more a feel, it doesn't necessarily happen, but it's more a feel as when you get to the top. As you come down in your downswing, as your lower half leads, feel like, I like to feel like my shoulder gets to the ball first and then the club. And when you have that feeling, you've got a great chance of getting into this forward shaft lean position here and compressing the golf ball. So that's the first thing I do. The other thing I try to do is get my sternum in front of the golf ball at impact. So in other words, my sternum is here, it's right about in line or just behind the ball at impact. I want to get that sternum in front of the golf ball, just out here somewhere. We've got that nice forward shaft lean. Now the other thing you want to make sure you do is, in that backswing, I spoke about this recently on a video, is making sure that rear leg for a right-hander is angled back in towards you. When you do that, it makes it easy to get the transition started right and get into this impact position here. We want to get into that sort of position. That'll help us get ball first, turf second, and that'll really show up on the map. So those are some keys. What you want, really want to focus on, getting into that impact position so it looks something like this and you'll get instant feedback from the AccuStrike Impact Golf Training Mat that you're doing this right. Now I will stress, if you're a mid to high handicap golfer, this is gonna be super challenging on this mat, but the great thing about it is you can practice over and over. Your bad shots, you can just wipe off and you can keep practicing. It will take a bit of practice, but if you follow these steps, 
to get your irons in the right position to hit the ball first, turf second, it will really help you out. So the next part of the video, I'm going to show you a close-up of hitting a few shots on the Aki Strike and show you how it's done. See you soon. Okay, let's demonstrate some shots on the AccuStrike Impact Golf Training Mat. So, as I said, ideally what we want to be doing is hitting the ball and then turf afterwards. That's what we're ideally going to be aiming for. And this is with any golf shot you're trying to hit with your irons, but demonstrating on this mat, that's how we want to do it. Now, if you get, say, an inch behind this line, that's not so bad. You're still going to hit a solid golf shot. Likewise, if you get an inch in front of that ball line, it's not so bad. As I said, an inch behind, again, not so bad. What you want to be avoiding is getting shots back here or anything way too far in front of this mark here. That's what you want to be avoiding. We want to be avoiding the over the top ones like that or way too far inside ones like that. So let's, um, I'll demonstrate one for you. Let's try and get one ball first and turf second. Now I can see they've got that one just a fraction fat. It's probably about a couple of inches behind the line there. So I probably would have got away with that, but still a little bit fatter than what I would have liked. So let's try and do another one. Just wipe that clear going the other way. So I'm gonna focus on moving those things I spoke about with the rear shoulder and making better contact. Now that's a better one there. I've got about, probably about just left than an inch right in front of the ball. It's a little bit of a gap at the tip, at the top there, but that's not too bad. That's probably more towards the toe, which is my tendency with my shots. But I still would have caught that one pretty solid. You can see the divot starts there, just in front of the ball and past the golf ball. So that's not too bad. I'd, I'd hit a fairly decent shot with that. Now, if you're someone that struggles with your irons, especially catching them fat and keeping too much weight on the back heel. Yours are going to look something like that. And you're going to see a big mark right behind where the ball is. So I encourage you, as I said earlier, this is difficult. If you're a mid to high handicapper, you're not going to master this straight away. It will take a bit of practice, but the great thing is you can practice this as much as you want at home and just keep trying to hit that ball first part there and you can just wipe it off straight away. You don't need to be hitting proper golf balls with this. You can do that. You can take it to the driving range and hit proper golf shots, but you don't need to. This is an outdoor training mat. There's actually an indoor one as well you can get. I will put a link in the description. Keep practicing with that, guys. That's really gonna help you out. Thanks for watching. Drop a comment down below if you've tried this training aid to improve your ball striking. Maybe you've tried it and it hasn't quite worked for you or you've tried another training aid that you found really effectively. Drop a comment down below, I will reply to every one of you. There you have it. That's how you use the AccuStrike Impact Golf Training Mat. Now, very important, right above here, I'll have a couple of additional videos that go into detail about how to compress your irons, get that forward shaft lean. Make sure you check those out, really important. Now, below the video, I'll have a link to my free three secret moves video make sure you click on that link get a hold of that 100 free there'll be another link to some additional golf instruction especially if you're struggling with a slice make sure you check that out if you have any other questions or comments about this video or another video or something that you're struggling with please let me know i will reply to every single one of you thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time